because you probably can't get those sub tapes anymore. Um, which I don't know why you would, because. <laughs> well, actually, no. I left out a step in that. It was after GT, then go back and watch the original Dragon Ball anime, and then watch like three episodes of Kai, and then watch. <gasps> So, yeah, it's yeah. alright. It's alright. Yeah, because like I remember on Toonami, I remember there was a time where they had nothing but Dragon Ball, and I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> You're like, this is my fantasy. This is my fantasy. <laughs> but, That's uh, his kink. <laughs> That's his fetish. Nothing but Dragon Ball. You're gonna kink shame that. <laughs> I... <laughs> It'd be funny if I went on like one of those weird kink forums or like one of those like confession. Uh, Reddit things and be like, I just really like Dragon Ball Z. I know it's a problem and I can't quit it really. I can't. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but uh, my uh, final bit of uh, news before the Tales news is a uh, a new Garo anime was announced along with some other stuff. Um, something wow, it's called... getting a third season, really? Yeah. Hmm. Um, oh, I didn't uh, think it was that popular. I. Yeah. It was relatively well received. I mean, yeah. like, yeah, I, I've like it's gotten good reviews and stuff, but I didn't think it was like popular enough to warrant like a third season. Most shows only last like two at most, you know. I mean, Ryan right. liked it, so I was totally downplaying it. That's, that's <laughs> not what I was. Okay, sure. I need. I still need to finish the second season. I plan to, and I'll probably review it whenever I do. <laughs> Actually, I'm I'm close to being done with it. Um, but uh, yeah, season two was a complete disgrace compared to season one. Actually, God, I, it was such a mistake. In some ways, I kind of like season two better than season one. <gasps> it might be due to the Last fact that it takes Last place week. in like feudal Japan, and the music's pretty awesome. But um, this was sh this was during a 2016 celebration that was streamed on Nico Nico, uh, along with something called Garo Zero Dragon Blood, which is coming in January, uh, and upcoming. F there's uh, also been some stuff. That was also this is like sort of like a general Garo thing, but the main focus here, according to Crunchyroll, was the new anime project. Some other stuff they were announcing was Garu Garo, sorry, Garo Kami Garu Gamesh. <laughs> oh Garu -gamesh. god. Something called Garo Kami no Kiba and Garo Kami No Kiba. Kami. Oh my god. Kami, but no Kiba. Um, communism, <laughs> but no Kibas. <laughs> no, no, it's Kami from Dragon Ball. Why do you think it was uh, subtitled Dragon Blood? Aha, uh -huh, it's a crossover. <laughs> and something yeah. else called Garo Skiniji no Tabibito. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds funny. <laughs> it does. Like, um, I know you're trying, but... <laughs> and it, a new um, anime series, which that seems to be the one that we don't know hardly anything about. Um, but uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be coming at some point. <coughs> um, we don't have a specific date besides 2017, so I imagine probably I could see this maybe being a spring show. I can maybe see that. Maybe I can maybe see it real good. Um, I wonder what kind of time. Why does it be like a really modern one to where it's more like what people would probably expect from Garo? With like the white, uh, <coughs> the white coats as well that a lot of characters in the actual live action series wear. I mean, sure, I guess. Yeah, but that's cool. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I imagine Funimation will probably pick it up. They're actually going to be apparently releasing the dub of Crimson Moon pretty soon. Hmm. I still need to watch the dub of season one. I Season one's pretty good. I think you may enjoy it. I mean, it's Power Rangers, kind of. I mean, what's not to like? Yeah, it, it is pretty similar to Power Rangers, and it's it's formatted pretty similar as well. Um, but it's not nearly as funny. <laughs> it is more serious. That is well, I mean, we've had serious Power Ranger seasons. Well, okay. remember, if it's not a serious season, it's shit. Well, according to some of the fans, yes. Yeah, fans, we'll call them that. They should make a light speed <laughs> rescue anime. It, Ryan, why would they do that? Because light speed rescue is awesome. I, I mean, I understand that, but like, why? Like, 
Toei has been very clear they don't want Power Rangers animated in any form. So, like... Well, that's plus, if you bad. look hard enough, you can find it anyway. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. And they're too busy doing other stuff. Um, My only bit of Tales news, I don't know if it's really news, and I don't know how recent this is, but there's apparently a new fan-made uh, North American Tales convention being set up called Radiant huh. Northwest. It's, uh, That's weird. Mm -hmm. This is half news and half promotion, just so that they can get more peeps. Um, I just saw this on Facebook, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's uh, from July 28th through the 30th, 2017, in Lake Larkspur Landing, Bellevue, Washington. Let's hope it doesn't end up like DashCon. <laughs> God. <laughs> But, uh... Look, man, they had a ball pit that somebody pissed in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that did happen. And people were still crawling around in it. <laughs> oh. yeah. God. Um, well, that's what they get. They don't have too many, uh, things. Out. Since this is the first time, they're probably not gonna get too many peeps. Um, so... But uh, yeah, it's. I like the mascot that they have. That's actually a really nice uh design. Uh, but I I mainly brought this up because I it, I find it kind of interesting how like we now have like I don't know if Aceliacon is going on or not still, but I, we now have like two different <laughs> Tales conventions put on by fans, which I think is pretty astonishing. Um. Yeah, sailing a con is still a thing. Yeah.